Read the manual carefully before start. Use special safety goggles to protect your eyes. Use apron and gloves. It will reduce airflow intensity and you'll be able to get stable cotton candy sleeve. You will need additional accessories. No snow tool, sugar flakes catcher, plastic or wooden sticks 60 cm long, granulated sugar, fill spinning head with sugar on 3 quarters, Minimal recommended amount of sugar is not less than one-third of the spinning head volume. Wait until spinning head is warmed up. It will not take more than one minute. In the beginning, there will be plenty of cotton candy flakes, so-called sugar snow. We recommend to use no snow tool. It will make the operation easier. Cotton candy should be winded on a stick, which is 20-40 cm above the spinning head, rapidly turning the stick with fingers. Cotton candy comes out as white vertical flow, so-called sleeve. This sleeve can be winded on a stick as a large fluffy ball. Of operation, there will be plenty of cotton flakes, so called sugar snow. We recommend to use no snow tool. Do not press quick start button for too long, it will cause overheating of the spinning head, which is bad for quality of the sleeve. During indoor operation, the airflow is to be reduced to the minimum. Overlap the holes on the stator completely. Turn on the machine. The snake means that you make cotton candy when standing quite far away of the machine. Once you made a little cocoon on the stick, smoothly pull it aside. Pay attention that the cotton candy lays down in the center of cocoon, otherwise the snake will fall down. You can control movement of your snake by waving your hands and tilting the stick. You should watch how fast cotton candy lays down on the stick to avoid sag or rupture of the snake. Once you adjusted necessary winding speed, you'll be able to step away from the machine up to 10 meters, keeping pull the cotton candy. Sugar snow comes out in the following situations. In the beginning of the session, where the spinning head isn't hot enough. In the ending of the session, when the spinning head isn't cooled down enough, small amount of sugar left in the head. 
In case of head overheating, when the voltage is over 150 volts for RoboJet Floss version and over 170 volts for RoboJet Floss Pro version, cotton candy flow would be so thick that it would be not so easy for an experienced operator to control and wind cotton candy. It takes only 15-20 seconds to overheat the head, however, normalizing the temperature will take not less than 2-3 minutes of operation. Improperly adjusted airflow For example, during indoor operation, take off silicon ring completely. Airflow will be so strong that cotton candy will be coming out as a thin filament above the head. The goal of technical maintenance is to keep the machine in operable condition during the whole lifetime and also to fulfill safety requirements. Technical maintenance must be done as soon as individual parts of the machine become unclean. Everyday cleaning of plastic pan, silicon collar and silicon ring with warm water. Do not use abrasives. Take off the stator. Unscrew four screws before. Stator should be cleaned with warm water if necessary. Do not use abrasives. Put in the stator back. Make sure that all screws are tightened firmly, because they can be loosened because of abrasions. Take off the spinning head's cover to get access to the side wall and the heater. The side wall is demounted along with the heater. Stuck sugar will keep it together. It's recommend to put heater with sidewall in warm water. Do not dip more than for 2 cm. Take off the impeller. Unscrew 3 screws before. You'll get access to slip rings and brushes. It's recommended to do brush unit technical maintenance at least twice a year. The difference of RoboJet Floss Pro version Quick Start button, which allows to make cotton candy only after 20 seconds after turning on the machine. 